Hi there, it's Ben Housel here, and here in this tutorial, we're gonna have a look at how we flip video clips or image clips on the horizontal or vertical axis in Final Cut Pro 10. If these tips and tricks in Final Cut Pro 10 are something you're interested in, then please do hit the subscribe button and the notifications button. And I also regularly post answers to people's questions um, that have popped up on the comments um, on the YouTube channel. Please do leave your comments below. Otherwise, let's dive into this and have a look at how we flip clips in Final Cut Pro 10. So we're gonna have a look, first of all, um, at how we flip a clip. Um, and we're gonna use this uh, photograph um, here. And for this example, I've knocked out the background as well um, using the Kia. So we've knocked out this uh, green background um, using the color Kia. And we can use this to, to flip my image and then have a kind of mirror of myself um, within the same frame. So basically, first thing we need to do is make sure we're all looking at the default layout in Final Cut Pro 10. So we're going to go to Window, Workspaces and Default. And that's going to mean we're all looking at the same thing. We've got the inspector up on the top right, which we'll need in a minute. And then we're also going to bring up the effects panel on the right hand side. So in your effects panel, um, if you scroll right up to the top and select all video and audio, we can select the option flip and it will give us this flipped effect. So basically, if we select this and drag it onto the clip, it's going to flip it um, the other way. So um, if before we do this, um, we make a duplicate of this layer, so I'm gonna hold down the Alt key and just drag that up. And then if we drag the flipped option across onto this clip, you'll now see that we have two versions of myself. And if we come up to the inspector on the top right, and um, we'll hide the key, we don't need that, we'll see the flipped option um, where we can change how much uh, we're flipped by. And we can also keyframe this as well. So if you've got type or text that you want to rotate around, um, you can do that with the flipped option um, too. And we'll have a look at that in a second. Um, but we want to find the transform option, so the position. So I'm going to transform myself across here to the right hand side and then grab the bottom layer on the timeline. So I'm just using the select tool and we'll drag this version of me to the left. So you can see we can place those two clips opposite one another. So if we grab some type here, so I'm just going to click on the timeline and use the default type. So Control and T will bring up the basic title. So we'll just type in the text flipped here. So we're grabbing the type options up here. We'll type in flipped. And I'm going to select from up here the bold 2D style. And we'll actually scroll down here and make the type a bit bigger. And we'll scroll down again and make it a different color. So we'll select a kind of orange color from up here. And then if we drag the flipped option across onto here, you can see it flips the type. So we get that kind of nice mirrored version of the type. Um, and so once we've added our type, if we come back to our video options here, we can modify the, the way this type is flipped. And you can see if we set a keyframe with flipped at zero and then come ahead in time, we can drag this up to 100%. And between those two keyframes, the text is going to animate round nice and slowly. You can also see we've got the option to do it horizontally, vertically, or both. So if we do this now, you can see our text is going to flip down. So if you're wanting to make a mirror of your text or something like that, then you can use the vertical option and then just create two versions of your, your text so that they are both available. So if I hold down the Alt key there and duplicate that, I can turn off flip now and now we have the same font on those two layers. So let's delete these now. And now we're going to have a look at the mirror option. So if we have a look at this surfer in here, we're going to delete the flip search in our effects at the bottom right here. And now we're going to search for mirror. And you'll see we have the mirror effect. And if we drag this on, now we have this one surfer mirrored in two parts of the canvas. So if we have a look at this on-screen controller, we can change where the mirroring is occurring. We can change the rotation of it. So you can play around with that. Um, and we've got the option to repeat the border pixels or not, depending on what we want. So you can see repeating the border pixels gives it that 
kind of stretched out look at the edge there. And as with any effect, if you've made changes that you want to reset, then if you come up to the hooked arrow to the right here, we can reset that and we can reset these options back to the default. So if we've made changes and we don't want to keep them, then we can reset them. Now sometimes uh, the flipped option won't give you what you want and in particular with these examples um, the surfer is always going to be super close uh, there and we can move him further away but then if we offset the position here we're still going to get a black border on the left hand side. So if we actually want to mirror them but have them a little bit further apart then we need to start using layers and the flipped option um, to do that. So we're going to copy this clip, we'll come ahead in our timeline and paste it. So Command and C and Command and V is uh, copy and paste. And then we'll select this second clip and I'm going to delete the mirror option from here. And now I'm going to duplicate this up, so I'm going to hold down the Alt key and drag this up. And now we're going to search for the flip option here again. So we're going to flip this second clip, so it's flipped the other way. And now if we come down to our crop options, I can crop this from the, the right hand side. So we'll crop this by 600 pixels. Just play that through and see that we get all of that there. That's pretty good. And then we're going to crop this from the other side, so from the left by 600 pixels. And now when we offset both these layers, so I'm going to come to my transform options up in the options toolbar here. So I'm going to move this to the left here until this is this line is roughly in the middle and then I'm going to move this across to the right until we see them join and as I get closer here if I hold down the alt key you can see I'm moving that number by a really small amount so basically as I'm moving this closer and closer if I hold down alt now you can see my clips are going to come together more slowly. So basically holding down Alt or Option key on the keyboard will, when you're scrubbing these values, uh, mean it changes by a smaller amount. So now when we play this through, um, we have those two surfers a little bit further apart. Still a little bit of a, a line in the middle here. So I'm actually going to come to the top layer and just tweak the cropping a little bit. And again, we can hold down the Alt key until we're just overlapping these a little bit. And you might want to look at this at 100% um, for the view amount here, just to check uh, that midpoint to make sure there's no line showing up there. So if you're cropping it and you see the line there, that's a bit obvious, but you get the idea. So if we ever see a little bit of a line there, when we're zoomed in 100%, it means that that's going to be visible. So now we need to drop that down until that line disappears. And I'm just holding down the Alt key as I'm modifying this right-hand crop value so that they're matched up nicely. So now we have these two mirrored surfers coming together um, using the flipped option and two layers on our timeline. So that's a quick overview of how to create a mirror or flip an image um, in Final Cut Pro 10 couple of different methods there and different thoughts for how you might flip and mirror different clips. Every edit will be a little bit different um, and will require a kind of different solution. So hopefully these tips are useful and also remember whenever you're looking at any of the effects that you've added or things like the crop, if you see the little diamond to the right of those effects, um, so for the amount here or for the amount for the crop, um, you can keyframe those amounts so we can change those values over time. So that might be the rotation, it might be the left or right crop, or it might be uh, the value um, of the, the flipped amount that you have changed here. So if you have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10, then please do leave them below. Um, otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.